Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching another video edition from the Good Guys to Great Men library. Today, I want to talk about something a little bit more deeply. I want to talk about happiness. Every single application we get from men or email we get from men asking for help or asking for a consultation call starts with, I want a happier marriage. I want to be happier. I want my wife to be happier with me. I wish our marriage was happier, more connected, more intimate. So this happy, happy, happy thing is what I want to talk about. I want to go a little bit deeper today with you on the con concept of happiness. Of course, most of us think, and I'm 60 years old, so I'm not exempt. Most of us have days where we think, if only blank, then I would be happy. If only she respected me more, if only she paid attention to me more, if only she would be more affectionate, if only she would be nicer, if only this or only that, we, we externalize the idea of happiness in this marriage. And so the sly secret that every happy husband has that I know of personally is that they've stopped looking for these components of happiness, these external things that are supposed to make them and their marriage happy. Today I was teaching a class with my buddy Dan Dorr and we're teaching a higher level class with some men talking about this concept of, of happiness. And we went to a French philosopher named Albert Camus who died in 1960, but uh, he did a few books. He was a journalist, author, but he was also a philosopher. And here's this quote. This is what we started with. The quote is, you will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. Let me break that down for you in this video just a little bit. You'll never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. And what he means by that is that by nature, all humans are looking for something that is supposed to equate to their happiness. More money, more stuff, more love, more sex, more esteem, more confidence. We keep looking outside ourselves for something that's supposed to come into ourselves to be happy. And that is the perfect recipe and the perfect plan for a miserable life because the universe will conspire against you if you're dying for something outside of you to come in and make you happy on a daily basis, it will fail you because you can't search for what happiness is supposed to consist of outside of you. What we're supposed to do is understand that happiness can be who we are. I'm not talking about the feeling of happiness. I'm talking about the feeling of well-being, the feeling of contentment, the feeling that at any given moment, including right now while you're watching this video, you're okay. You're okay. You have every right to be content, satisfied, and even happy, whatever that means for you. But it certainly is not outside of you. The man or the husband who has a happier life, a happier disposition, a happier morning, a happier marriage understands that nobody's supposed to come in from the outside and make it happy for him. That the only way you become a happy man with a happier wife and a happier marriage is that you see yourself as a state of being and that showing up as a naturally happy man is the only way to lead happiness and to create happiness. And I know that sounds weird. Well, what if she's being a bitch? What if she's being horrible? What if she's cheating on me? What if this? What if that? Aren't I allowed to be unhappy about those external things? You can, ex you can experience, of course, anger and, and uh, you can experience discontent. You can experience disagreement and disapproval. You can experience those feelings, of course. External stuff will always cause a thought process in you that causes a feeling. However, this video is for the husband who wants to be a happier husband with a happier wife and a happier marriage. Now, even though external stuff is going to come, you can be happy with the way you respond to that external stuff. You can be happy with the way you think about it, the way you deal with it, the way you speak about it, and the decisions you make as a result of those external things. Releasing control over those things you think are supposed to make you happy is what's necessary to be happy. It can be a very positive experience to accept a negative consequence or a negative circumstance. And the backwards rule is that it can also be a very negative experience to desperately desire a positive experience, as in somebody making you happy. That's a very negative experience. What I'm suggesting to you for the happy marriage 
there's three things that have to happen. The very first and most important one is that you see yourself as a center of happiness. All by yourself, you are worthy and valuable and you can be happy in and of yourself if you decide that you are happiness, that you can bring happiness, you can show up with happiness. Now, I'm not talking about giddy joy dancing on the rooftop kind of stuff. I'm talking about a sense of masculine well-being, a sense of masculine groundedness and contentment, and even a shitting grin on your face, a smirk that you're okay. Nothing outside of you is making you not okay. Now that's the first thing. If you can lead with the fact that you don't need somebody else to make you happy and that you can be the vessel of happiness for other people, then in your marriage there's two very simple things that are simple but incredibly difficult for most guys to do. The, the, the second thing is be nice, <laughs> be kind, nice or kind. I know those are very simple four letter words, but being kind is a matter of mindset. It's a matter of assumption. It's a matter of your tone and your body language and your nonverbal communication skills. Being kind is, is a gift you can give to people because you have no need to be the opposite of kind, unkind or mean. Now, the third thing that helps a happy husband have a happy wife and a happy marriage is the way he thinks about his wife in marriage. We call it high regard, or sometimes it's called just assuming the best, right? Giving benefit of the doubt. This is the third thing. High regard, assuming the best, or giving benefit of the doubt means that in your everyday thinking, even when external circumstances are trying to make your mind go dark, you decide that if I'm a happy man and a valuable man and I'm a kind man, I'm also going to transmit energetically through my eyes and through my thinking to everybody that I care about that I hold them in a very high regard. I'm not suspicious, I'm not skeptical, I'm not sarcastic, I'm not critical, I'm not disapproving and disappointed and frustrated and defensive and argumentative. Those things are the opposite of assuming the best giving benefit of the doubt or high regard. So I'll review one more time. You start with knowing that happiness is inside you. You show up as a happy man to everything because nothing outside you can provide that but you. It is a fact. The second thing is to be kind. And the third thing is to hold people in high regard in your mind, in your thinking, in your expression, your tone, your body language. I guarantee you, if you could do that, string seven or 14 days together like that, you will notice things around you changing like magic. I want you to give it a shot, and I would love to hear from you if you have something to share about what happened when you decided to do that because it is who you want to be, not because of any other reason. Thanks for watching today. I hope that helps, brother. If you want more information, you can always go to goodguystogreatmen.com and get information about our group, our roundtable, our men's community. It's something that I really want you to be involved in. Thanks for watching today. Take care.